Hi everybody, as you can tell, I do not have, or maybe you can't tell, but I do not have any um, lipstick on, and the reason for that is because I'm going to be trying this out. Um, so these are obviously um, the Kylie Lip Kits. I got two of them, and they come in this box. You've probably seen this box a thousand times already. Um, I just got mine on Thursday. It is Saturday today, so... Um, what was that? Order them almost, they arrived almost a week after I ordered them. So that's really nice. I wish I lived in California so they would have came like next day or like, like on Monday or something, but I don't. This is the little, um, car that comes with them. And it has like a handwritten message on the back. Not legitimately handwritten, but you know nice little message from Kylie and then inside the box are my Kylie lip kits I got two colors so I got true brown K and then I got Mary Jo K so I've actually really been wanting true brown K since they first released in a lip kit you get both the lip liner and the liquid lip and they retail for about $29, so if you think about that, that's like $14.50, you know, for liner and lipstick separately, which is super nice. Really affordable. So this is what they both look like. I really like the packaging. It's nice, sturdy, like hardcore packaging. Does not feel cheap whatsoever, which is really nice. And then it has, of course, like... The drip design on it and her signature and then this is the liner with the color at the end has a very nice like sweet smell like buttercream like a buttercream candle smell that smells really nice this is true brown K so there is Mary Jo K right here. I kind of don't know which one I should use. Should I go red? Or should I go? I think I'm gonna go true brown K because I've actually been wanting to use it so bad. So I have some chapstick on my lips right now. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Oh. My desk is a mess if you can tell. Alright. So then, let's get to using- I actually have a really hard time lining my lips, so let's see how this goes. The mailman's here. So it goes on really creamy too. Don't any- don't have any pulling or dragging, tugging, anything like that, so that's really nice. So here we go. Ooh. I'm getting no like flaking off or anything like that. So far, so good. Like applying it and everything, I feel like it looks really good. It is 311. Um, I'm gonna see how this wears. It dried really quickly and it's really smooth to the touch. Like, I'm rubbing it right now and I'm getting like it's not like flaking off, but you can see that it's kind of still coming off a little bit but as long as it's not flaking off that's really nice you know it doesn't feel uncomfortable or anything like it doesn't feel tight so I'm just standing like right in front of my big window in my living room right now and this is what it looks like the color 
I'm really love it. I'm like obsessed with this. So I'm actually super hungry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to either call my parents and be like, where are you? Or I'm going to grab a bite to eat and then I'll check in with you after that to see how it wears. So see you guys in a little bit. All right. So it is what time? I never know what time it is. It is 6.54, it's almost 7, and um, still going strong. Let me turn on this light. Oh, God. All right. So, still going strong. Um, it's not, like, flaking or anything. It still feels, like, really smooth. It's not, like, cracking off. I've, like... I've eaten a little bit. I haven't really eaten yet. Um, Uriel and I are actually going to go to Meatheads right now. So I'm going to full on eat like a burger and fries and all that. So it's been almost four hours and we'll see how it looks after I'm done eating. Alright. Okay, so I'm like halfway through my burger. There's Isabelle and Uriel. Um, and it's coming off. Ooh, my leg is kind of falling off, I swear. So it's not lasting through eating, but this is like really, not really greasy, but it's like kind of oily. <laughs> so. I feel like when I sneeze, I dab. Because you do. Like, <laughs> Anyways, just an update. Long, long. <laughs> okay, hey guys. So, it is, what time is it? Nine? What time is it? My butt! No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god. 8.47. Okay. So eight, eight. Eight. Okay, so it's 8.48. It's almost 9, so I've had this on since 3. And then we just got back from... Meatheads. From Meatheads. And, um, you can see what it did. <laughs> but, I ate a burger, and that obviously has, like, a lot of grease and a lot of oil, so obviously... That is Suzanne. What the hell? I don't know how sand is here. Anyways, yeah. Obviously when you eat food with a lot of grease and oil, this is going to happen to any liquid lipstick. But before that, it was on great. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to take it off, but it was on for six hours, and before I ate, it looked... It still Hi, looked... my name is Ray, and I have this eclipse on for ten hours. <laughs> and it looked... It looks pretty good. They're both making fun of me. This isn't fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. It's Valentine's Day. I have the Kylie lip kit on in Mary Jo K. And this one is definitely a lot drier than True Brown K, but it still feels good. Like, my lips aren't tight or anything. It's brighter than I thought it was going to be, but how, what do you think? I don't like real lipstick, but it looks good on you. Thanks. Okay, so we just had dinner, and I ate lots of food. Had some wings, had sushi, good food. I feel like this held up pretty nicely. It's obviously, like, gone right here. Like, when I was drinking, it wasn't coming off, but then I started eating, like, like wings. So. For everything that I ate, and for it to not completely be off, looks good. And it's, it's still, like, it's a little dry, but it's not, like, flaking off. But yeah. Okay guys, so it's been about two weeks since I've tried both my Kylie lip kits, so I thought that I would sit down and give you guys a quick summary of how I felt about both of them. Um, I have a little notepad right here with um, some notes, just because I've tried filming this literally a thousand times, and I don't know what I'm saying. I can't talk. Okay, so as far as both shades are concerned, um, the pigmentation in both of them is 
amazing hands down you really only need one layer that's how pigmented they are there's no patchiness or anything whatsoever so that's really nice um, the consistency I really enjoy because they're both very thin like a very very thin consistency and when you put that together with the fact that you only really need one layer it pretty much feels like there's nothing on your lips which I am obsessed with because I hate feeling like I have anything on my lips that's why I really love the Kylie lip kits because they're just so thin and so pigmented that you really feel like there's nothing on your lips you can really just go about your day and probably forget that you even have it on um, along with that it dries very nicely it doesn't dry tight and it's not like drying if you get what I'm saying like your mouth doesn't feel like you can't move your lips and it doesn't feel uncomfortable whatsoever once they dry it just feels very smooth and very comfortable and it's just really nice honestly the lip liners as well super creamy super pigmented they go on super smooth they're just amazing one of the things that I would definitely uh, definitely recommend though is to make sure you exfoliate your uh, exfoliate your lips probably before you start putting on any makeup at all exfoliate your lips and put on some chapstick or anything I personally use um, my Smith's uh, rose self rosebud self yeah that's what it's called that's just a little tip and that's kind of a given with any liquid lipsticks you want to make sure that you exfoliate your lips and moisturize them I obviously enjoy the Kylie lip kits. I, I feel like they're so worth it. Um, for $29 for a liquid lipstick and a lip liner is just, it's a great deal and they're great products. I know the only thing that sucks is that they constantly go out of stock and it's really hard to get a hold of one. But like I said, as time goes on, things are going to start to work out a little bit better and hopefully more and more people will be able to get their hands on them but my final review is that i absolutely love them thank you guys so much for watching i hope that was somewhat knowledgeable informative enjoyable maybe i hope <laughs> leave um a comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up so i'll see you guys next time Bye. <laughs> <laughs>